In 1992 at a vineyard in Italy, the man behind the massive car brand Lamborghini, Ferruccio Lamborghini was reminiscing about his rivalry with Enzo Ferrari, the man behind Ferrari itself. Flashbacks to the moment post-war in Italy, Ferruccio with his friend Matteo who had finished their duty in the army finally set back to their hometown in Italy. Ferruccio went home to meet his beloved wife Clelia and his family who worked as farmers in the countryside. Ferruccio suggested his father move to the city to pursue his dream to build his tractor company that could produce more efficient and cheaper tractors than what they had in the market at that time. He had a lot of experience from his time in the army as a mechanic and he just wanted to raise his family finances and reputation so that everyone would know who Lamborghini is. He wanted to carve the name Lamborghini into history. Unfortunately, his father didn't stand on the same side as him. He thought that their life as a farmer is enough for them and that his thought was way too much for their family to handle. He was pessimistic that they wouldn't have what it takes to compete in the market with the already developed brands out there. His father kept denying his idea and showed his pessimistic questions without any hesitation. Ferruccio didn't give up on his dream. Six months later, he and Matteo attended a car racing competition using the car he made himself that he claimed would be able to compete at the same level as the other cars. Their goal in attending the competition was to get famous and to raise funds for their tractor company. And so, they had to win the race because the trophy would be given by Enzo Ferrari himself to the respected winner. The race started. The competition heated between Porsche in the first place, Ferruccio's car in the second place, and Mercedes in the third place. Ferruccio told Matteo to overtake the first place but sadly, their underdeveloped car engine was not good enough to take the chance and instead ended up in the last place. Ferruccio who hated their loss suddenly took over the steer and caused an accident for them. Their loss in the competition made Ferruccio blame himself and thought that he was not as good as he thought all the time, but his wife Clelia said that she believed that Ferruccio would be able to make his dreams come true. He just didn't know how to properly did it. Clelia then told him that she was pregnant and made him happy. Since he had lost the competition, he also lost all his money. Ferruccio then dared himself to borrow some money from his dad to make his first tractor and start the company. He said that he would pay for it and even gave interest. Looking at Ferruccio's ambition, his father finally believed in him and lent him his savings. He even mortgaged his farm for his son's dream. When Claudia found out that Ferruccio's father had mortgaged the farm, she got irritated. She knew that well that the family had done as much as they could to prosper their farm and mortgaging it for money was a bad idea. She forced Ferruccio to return the money to his father, but Ferruccio with his big dream decided to open his account in the Bank of Cento, which the owner, Vito Rossi, was personally acquainted with the Lamborghini family. Ferruccio then started designing his first tractor which he named the Carioca, a small yet tough and fuel efficient. He was sure that the tractor would be a massive help in the industries. They then went to buy a junk car and stripped down its spare parts one by one to build the tractor, until one day, Matteo saw a woman and suddenly, he fell in love with her. Matteo who didn't dare to talk to the woman then helped by Ferruccio. He talked with the woman whose name was Anita and introduced Matteo to her. But unfortunately, Matteo couldn't keep his composure and stuttered in front of her. Anita instead took an interest in Ferruccio. They then continued their progress with the tractor and once again, saw Anita coming out of the bus. Ferruccio also took his time to spend with his wife. He couldn't wait much longer to meet his son. Long story short, Clelia's labor day finally arrived. Ferruccio still took his time at the workshop to keep his progress with the tractor before his wife's schedule for the labor, but unfortunately, he was late because of waiting for the finishing of the Lamborghini logo he ordered. When he returned home, he found out that Clelia had a hemorrhage and was rushed to the hospital. He panicked and rushed to the hospital to see his wife. On the other hand, Clelia who was struggling with her labor kept calling Ferruccio's name who hadn't shown up yet. She kept bleeding and yelled his name. Sadly, the doctor couldn't stop the bleeding and caused her death, although they could save the baby. He blamed himself and started rampaging and destroying things in his workshop. After the funeral, his son was baptized and given the name Antonio or what he used to call Tonino. Long story short, Ferruccio finally finished his first tractor and visited Vito Rossi the owner of the bank to show him his work. He explained that despite its half-sized from the common tractor out there, it had twice as efficient and tougher engine than any other tractor. His goal in presenting his tractor to Vito Rossi was to get investment from him to start his company and make a thousand units of his tractor to sell to the mass. With the cutting-edge technology in his tractor, he finally managed to convince Vito Rossi to invest in his company. That night, they celebrated their success in a luxurious restaurant when suddenly, Anita showed up. That was when Matteo said that he had a crush on her and was in love with her. He always dreamed of her. Ferruccio then dared him to have a chat with Anita while he would leave them alone to smoke outside but shortly after, Ferruccio was surprised to see Anita coming out of the restaurant to meet him. She said that she had a chat with Matteo but she was only interested in Ferruccio. She then sit beside him and talked. Matteo who saw them from behind was heartbroken. 
The friendship between them was interrupted by a woman. Mateo said that Ferruccio never had enough of himself and would always take over everything for himself. He then asked for 25% of the company shares and give the rest to Ferruccio. Finally, in 1962, Ferruccio finally managed to significantly develop his company and named it Lamborghini Trattori Factory and gain all his fame and wealth. He had married Anita and made her his accountant. His son Tonino had also grown up. Anita told Ferruccio to spend more time with his son because he didn't need the wealth but his father's love. He agreed with his wife and spent more time with his son. He took him and bought him a boat. One day, someone came to Ferruccio and asked for a job. His name was Bob Wallace. He claimed to be an expert in mechanics and race. He had applied for a job in many other factories but never received any call from them and so he decided to apply for Lamborghini. Ferruccio then tested Bob's knowledge about engines. He showed his Ferrari which had been broken for quite some time. Bob then gave him a suggestion that amazed him. He then took Bob to meet someone. That someone was Enzo Ferrari. When they arrived, Ferruccio immediately approached him who had just come out of the building. He praised Enzo Ferrari for his achievement as the best car manufacturer in the world. He even told him about his collection of seven Ferraris in his garage but he suddenly criticized that all of his cars had the same problem which was the clutches that were too noisy and badly manufactured. It turned out that his statement before was his way to offering cooperation between Ferrari and Lamborghini because he claimed that he had a better clutch technology that was well built, along with his advanced engines. Unfortunately, Enzo Ferrari instead mocked him and arrogantly told him that he was just a farmer and was not on the same level as him. After that, Ferruccio went to a Matador museum and saw pictures of the Miura Bull which was known for its strength. Looking at the pictures, Ferruccio suddenly had an idea to produce a car that could beat Ferrari. He then immediately started his plan. He recruited well-known experts from competitors like Giotto Bizzarini from Ferrari, John Paolo Dallara from Maserati, and Franco Scagliani from Alfa Romeo. Ferruccio then told them about his first car concept which he named the Lamborghini 350 GT with an engine as strong as a race car. But his concept was not possible to apply. John then had an idea to build some part of the car with aluminum which would make the engine 50% lighter. Ferruccio then told them to finish the car in just six months so that he could show off his car at the Geneva Motor Show, one of the most prestigious international motor shows up to date. As for the short deadline, they planned to call for other experts to help with the manufacturing of the car's axle and brakes. Even though they were initially pessimistic about their concept, Ferruccio managed to convince them that their car concept would be the greatest car to ever be manufactured in the world. Days and weeks passed with Ferruccio trying to make his car concept. He even spent all the company's money on the Lamborghini 350 GT manufacturing. While having dinner with Ferruccio, Anita told him to stop his plan to build the car because if he failed, his company would go bankrupt. She told him to keep his focus on tractor manufacturing. She also told him that she had been too busy with the factory and never cared about her, his colleagues in the company, and even his son because what he had in mind was nothing but his Lamborghini car. Felt that his dream was questioned, Ferruccio was angry. He said that his wife never knew what he wanted. He also told her that all his employers loved working with him, but Anita denied that. She said that they still loved him because he could pay for their job, but once he lost all his money and could pay them, they would protest for their rights. She then told him about their new secretary vacancy because she had fired their former secretary. She found out that Ferruccio had an affair with her. The first Lamborghini car factory was finally built. Even though they only had three more months before the Geneva Motor Show, Ferruccio still hadn't finished with the concept. He kept complaining about the car design that was not stunning enough or the dual carburetor that was way too big because of the limited space in the hood. In the night, Bob Wallace came to Ferruccio and told him that he wanted to be the test driver for his first Lamborghini car. Looking at how persistence, Ferruccio finally agreed to keep him as his test driver. He also drew the Miura Bull as the new logo of his Lamborghini car. The car design that Ferruccio asked for was finally finished. The dual carburetor had also been customized to fit in the hood. The assembly had finally finished. To celebrate the success, he went to a party where he met a woman named Gabriella. He was interested in her and spent the rest of the night chatting with her. Unfortunately, Anita and Tonino showed up at the party, just when Ferruccio was teasing the woman. Looking at her husband, she immediately asked for a divorce from him. Days after, the prototype test drive was held. Ferruccio was impressed with the result. He then asked to change the car's color to green to show in the motor show later. In 1964, the Geneva Motor Show was finally held. New cars from luxurious and well-known brands were shown in the show, especially Lamborghinis which was still covered behind the curtain. He proudly claimed that his car was a new invention with advanced technology that would surpass the other brands. In his interview, he took his time to ask one of the women there to give a paper to Enzo Ferrari which turned out to be his drawing of a bull and horse to mock Enzo Ferrari. 
They finally opened the curtain and showed the Lamborghini 350 GT. Everyone was stunned by the design. With his confidence, he looked at Enzo Ferrari and said you buy Ferrari if you want to be someone, but you buy Lamborghini when you are someone. You buy a Ferrari when you want to be someone. These things are worth whatever they ask you to pay for them. You buy a Lamborghini when you are someone. Bravo, bravo. Sadly, the success didn't stay for long. The war in the 70s caused inflation that resulted in a massive decline in Lamborghini sales. As Anita said, the laborer and his company protested for their rights. Ferruccio had to sell his company shares and split them in half for his son, and the other half for his other families. Tonino asked if what Ferruccio had achieved was worth it but he could say a word. Was it worth it, Papa? I should get home now. Ciao, Papa. Not long after, Ferruccio bought a farm and produced wine. He saw his family photo and reminisced while driving his Lamborghini Miura, the car that was famous at that time. He remembered about his life, his first wife Clelia, and until now when he finally achieved his dream.